Look at that. Look at that loveliness. Ow. Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel, Things Tina Does. I'm Tina. I want to share something with you guys today that has been a festive treat for our family for years. It's called popcorn cake. Now, if your eyebrow just went up and your head tilted over and you said, popcorn, what? Yeah, that's the reaction I get from almost everybody that I talk about this with or the events that I bring this treat to. Sadly, nobody seems to have heard about it, even though we've been doing it for ever since I can remember. So, I just want to share this with you. I think you're going to love it as well as I am. Now, as you can see, I've already got all our popcorn is already popped. And now we're going to move on to buttering the bunt pan. Yes, I said butter, but you can use coconut oil. Um, I would advise not using something like a Pam spray because sometimes you can get a little bit of a metallic residue in the outside of your food. And since it's not going to be baked at that stage, you want to use something that's a little more palate friendly like butter or coconut oil, something like that. Now, you're going to generously the inside, make sure you get, if your bunt pan has all these nice little grooves in it like mine does, make sure you just take the time to go in those grooves. If you've got little helper hands in the house that love to come and help mommy and daddy in the kitchen, stuff like that, this is a wonderful thing for them to do. And yes, you did catch me. Yes, I am using my butter wrapper and I know you're going, oh my word, my 91 year old great grandmother saves those and uses them for stuff like that. I know, I know. but. You may as well, it's already got butter on it, right? Okay, so that's done. All right, now, so our pan is buttered. We're gonna set that aside, and we're gonna start our sauce. Okay, so into this goes quarter cup of butter. We're gonna turn that burner on right now, and get that going. All right, so all we have in there right now is the butter. All right, that's going to start melting right away, but we don't even have to wait for the butter to get all the way melted. We're going to go ahead and load in our marshmallows. You're going to use about 42 marshmallows for. You know, it's, you don't have to count I'm going to do a double recipe, so I had mine already out in the bowl. But if you get one standard bag of the large marshmallows, one whole bag goes in. Easy, right? So you've got your butter, your one bag of marshmallows in. It's already starting to melt down, which is wonderful. Guys, now I've had this on high heat to get this going, but you see that I'm constantly moving this mixture, right? Now I'm going to turn it down to, um, to a medium because it's really getting close to being done and I don't want to risk burning it. You see I've still got a few lumps of marshmallows in there, but they are breaking down very quickly. Now. At this stage, I've got to be ready. So in are going our gumdrops. All right, and our M&Ms. All right, and guys, you can use whatever candy that you want whatever treats you like, just make sure that they, they've got, you know, some heft to them so that they're not going to just melt when you pour that marshmallow sauce over. And if you're using a chocolate, like I do like the M&Ms, a lot of times I use a peanut M&M. My kids love those, but they've got to have that hard shell on the outside or else the marshmallow sauce will just melt it immediately when it hits it. All right. And then we'll just give this a little bit of a, just a little bit of a shakedown. See how they're immediately going through the popcorn? So you don't want to stir it too much or else you, they'll all go to the bottom and then you'll have a really hard time getting it all incorporated. All right, now this marshmallow sauce is almost finished. Look at that, all the way done, finished. And this takes, guys, about five minutes uh, from start to finish on the sauce. Okay. All right. Using one cup of unpopped kernels yields this much popcorn, guys. And you 
just get all that sauce out of there. You're going to need every bit of it. Set your pot to a safe place. Get that burner turned off. I like to have a towel ready so that I can put that right out, guys, into a safe place. And then just start the stirring. The challenge has always been to keep all the popcorn in the bowl while stirring. And you don't want to get your hands in it yet at this point in time because it's still hot. Trying to get all of that incorporated now. Woohoo! I wasn't kidding, was I? <laughs> yes, trying to keep it all in the bowl. That's the challenge. I'll show you another trick right quickly. All right, take a little bit of butter. Rub this on your hands. Okay, now. Remember our pan that we had prepared earlier? All right. Now. Woo! You can hear the yummy going in the pan. All right. Don't be shy about it. You gotta get your big muscles out. Don't sweat it. I'm going to show you what to do with that. If you prefer something like Reese's Pieces or something, I'm, and you can do this at different times of the year. <laughs> this may seem a little silly, but I like to color coordinate the popcorn cake as to what time of year I'm doing it. All right? And that's what it looks like all pressed in. And we're just going to set that aside in a cool place to set up. All right? You're gonna let that set up for about, mm, about two hours overnight is fine. You don't need to refrigerate it. Just set it in a cool place, covered with a, a clean towel or paper towel, something like that. Let it set up really good, and I'm gonna show you how to unmold that when that's finished setting up, okay? All right. Okay guys, it's been about three hours, so we're gonna unmold our popcorn cake onto our cake plate. By the way, check this out. Is this not absolutely gorgeous? Look at this beautiful cake plate. I got this at the Goodwill. Cool, right? Watch this. I'm just gotta show you this right quickly. It turns into a vegetable and dip tray. <laughs> By the way, if you guys would like to see more of the places where I find some really good bargains and some really neat things, let me know in the comments section because I'd love to do a video just on that for you, okay? All right, so we've got our lid off. We're ready to go. Have my buttered knife. All right. And we're just going to start. Woo, that's going to come quick. Sometimes you have to work on them a little teeny bit more. But that one did really nicely for us. Look at that. Ha-ha. Couple extra pieces there. We'll put those over here. And look how beautiful that is, you guys. If it's not completely centered, just give it a little nudge and it'll move for you. Now, on the popcorn cake versus the popcorn balls, you don't want quite as much marshmallow sauce. So if you're when you're mixing that up, if you feel like, ooh, I'm not sure if this is enough sauce, it's probably gonna be okay because what I have found is if you get too much sauce for the popcorn cake, it's harder to cut and it just wiggles all over the plate and it's it's just a little more difficult to work with. So a little less marshmallow sauce on the popcorn cake is what you want. It holds together better, especially while cutting. All right, and there we go. How pretty is that? Once again, guys, if you like what you're seeing, Give us a comment below, like, and subscribe. Tell everybody about us and hit us up on Facebook. Thanks for joining us on Things Tina Does. Bye-bye.